Salam emoji goes for ziyarat. What are you doing, Salam? shouted Moji as she saw her brother trying to stuff his suitcase with roller skates. I'm packing for my Arbain ziyarat trip. I especially need these roller skates for the Najaf to Karbala walk so that I can reach Karbala first. Salam said excitedly to his sister. Moji sighed as she looked at her brother and replied, "Salam, the walk is not about who reaches Karbala first, but about all the good actions we do on our way before we get there." Salam gave his sister a puzzled look and carried on trying to zip up his bursting luggage. When Salam and Moji reached Iraq, they both set off for the Najaf to Karbala walk with their mum and dad. Salam was mesmerized by all the free food and he tried to taste whatever he saw. "Salam, you keep wasting food. Don't pick it up if you cannot finish it," Moji said harshly to her brother. "But Moji, all the food is free. I have to try everything." Salam replied with a falafel in his mouth, a shawarma in one hand and a drink in the other. Moji wasn't impressed with her brother's answer and realized he didn't understand why it was so bad to waste food. She told him that the baruk is very special food because it is blessed with the love of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And although we shouldn't waste any food as there are so many people that are hungry around the world, it's especially worse if we waste the baruk. Moji pointed to all the people who were grabbing the tabarak, people with walking sticks and wheelchairs, children in buggies and prams, as they all wanted to get healed and blessed with the special food of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Salam was not happy with what his sister said, as it made him feel guilty, and he didn't like that feeling. He was enjoying himself up to now while he was trying all the food around him. He didn't understand why that was so bad. When Salam and Moji reached Karbala after 3 days of walking, they were really excited to go inside the Haram of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Salam ran towards the Haram to kiss the shrine, and he was so impressed with his achievement that he told his sister later, "Guess what, Moji? I was the first boy in the group to touch the shrine. There were so many people, so I kept pushing through everyone, and I even jumped over one person. I finally touched the shrine, but none of my friends did, so I was the only one." Moji nodded her head in disappointment and told her brother, "Salam, you can't hurt and push people on your way to greet Imam Hussein alayhi salam." But Moji squealed, "Salam, I came all the way to Karbala to kiss the shrine of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. So why are you telling me off?" Moji took her brother out on the streets of Karbala where she explained to him, "It's not just about kissing the shrine, Salam. It's about doing beautiful things like this." Moji pointed towards the millions of people walking towards the haram. Some were really tired and others didn't even have shoes on. Some people were giving out food and drinks to people, whilst others slept on the streets as after greeting Imam Hussein alayhi salam, they had nowhere to stay. Moji went on to tell her brother, visiting Imam Hussein alayhi salam is about serving, helping and supporting each other. Salam now realized what it meant to do the ziyarat of Imam Hussein alayhi salam and disheartenedly replied to his sister, Moji, I've come all the way to Karbala and I haven't helped anyone while so many people have helped me. They gave me food, a place to stay during the walk, and a man even held me up high so I could touch the shrine. So I'm started crying and said, "What can I do, Moji, to help serve Imam Hussein alayhi salam?" Moji smiled and said, "You can start by helping the people who love Imam Hussein alayhi salam. Give them food, massaging the walkers' feet, and keeping Karbala clean so everyone can move around easily." Salam decided to spend all his pocket money on buying drinks. He set up a little stall outside his hotel where he gave out tabarok to all the lovers of Imam Hussein alayhi salam.